Hi everybody, it's Boaz Faller and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for May 3rd, 2016. Moon still in Pisces, conjunct Chiron if you are in Europe. And until noon time, very sensitive time, Europeans. It's a time that we could be in touch with our own pains, old pains that are within us. It could be a positive time, improve healing if we're doing the right job, if we're touching the right spots and caressing them and not too hard on ourselves or on others. And then we could go on uh, on with our lives with lesser weights upon our shoulders or legs or whichever way you want to see it. There is a sextile to Vesta at noon time. It's around 6 or 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then the moon turns to be void, of course, until 1900 hours Central European Time. That's 1300 hours Eastern Standard Time. And then it goes into Aries, bringing an energetic uh, burst of energy into this middle of the week, which is beautiful. We are in a pleasant few days with the sun trining Jupiter. It's a time of benevolence. It's a time of expansion. It's a time of optimism. We shouldn't feel omnipotent during those days. Don't, th these days, don't make that mistake. Focus your energies and be realistic about things. And it's also about taking the opportunities that are starting to appear right now. Don't lay back and just enjoy. If there are opportunities, if there are doors opening up for you, you better grab them. Mars in retro is Sesky squaring Uranus and trining Ceres. Sesky squaring Uranus, not the safest days on the road, uh, not the safest days regarding our communications as well, you know, or our actions since it's Mars, not Mercury. I'm confused with all these retros already. So we are a little impatient and we're prone to outbursts today. So just pay attention to that. But the trying to series could really say, hey, you can enjoy the abundance and you can enjoy nurturing from your surroundings today and you can nurture others as well. Vesta is sextile in Chiron. There is something about the things that we like to do, our hobbies, our endeavors, the things that we hold dear and, and, and spend time really from our uh, like give give activities that we give time to during our days could prove healing right now if we take the time to do the things we love and hold dear right now we can get a lot more back out of it than we imagined that we would so thank you for listening and i'll see you all tomorrow bye bye